Welcome back, everyone. Today's read aloud is Flat Stanley and the Missing Pumpkins, part of the I Can Read series, Level Two, Reading with Help. Stanley Lambchop lived with his mother, his father, and his little brother Arthur. Stanley was four feet tall, about a foot wide, and half an inch thick. He had been flat ever since a bulletin board fell on him. Ow! Your flat elbow is so pointy," said Arthur. Stanley and Arthur were squashed in the back seat of the car. Sorry," Stanley said. He folded himself up like a taco. So his elbow wouldn't poke Arthur. Better, he asked. Better, said Arthur. The boys were on their way to their cousin Billy's farm. I envy you, Mrs. Lampchop said. Two weeks of fresh air and the county fair. I can't wait to see Billy, said Arthur. And Aunt Sue and Uncle Bob said Stanley. Aunt Sue was always baking pies to fatten him up. I'm flat, not skinny, he'd tell her. It didn't seem to matter. The lamb chops pulled up to a big red farmhouse. Billy yelled, "Arthur, Arthur!" yelled Billy. They took off together. Don't get into trouble, Mrs. Lamb Chop called after them. Stanley said goodbye to his parents. Uncle Bob helped with the bags. Ready for some chores? Uncle Bob asked. You bet, Stanley said. Stanley loved doing farm chores. He was good at it too. He could slide his flat hands under the hens to collect their eggs. They didn't mind a bit. Stanley could slip his flat body between rows to get every ear of corn. Best picker around," said Uncle Bob. And when Uncle Bob needed to unload hay bales from his truck, Stanley made the perfect ramp. "You are mighty helpful, Stanley," Uncle Bob said one night at dinner. But you are still so thin," said Aunt Sue. "Even with all my good cooking, you must eat another slice of pie." After dessert, Stanley went with Uncle Bob to fix a scarecrow in the pumpkin patch. "This scarecrow does a fine job scaring off birds," Uncle Bob said. "Too bad it can't scare off thieves. Someone's been taking my pumpkins." That's awful," said Stanley. "And right before the county fair, oh, I never show my pumpkins at the fair," Uncle Bob said. "Gosh, no! I just don't like my pumpkins disappearing. Hand me the nails, please." Stanley passed Uncle Bob some nails. Uncle Bob fixed the scarecrow's shoulder. I tried standing guard at night, but the thieves just wait until I go home," he said. Stanley looked at the scarecrow's skinny wooden arm. Then he looked at his own flat one. Uncle Bob, I have a plan. That night the moon lit the sky. Stanley stood still, trying not to scratch. It was hard, since his sleeves and pants were stuffed with straw. Stanley was about to give in and scratch when he saw something. Two flashlights bobbing in the dark. This way, a voice whispered. The lights grew closer. Stanley held his breath. Then someone bumped right into him. Ow! The scarecrow's elbow is so pointy," said the thief. "Gotcha!" Stanley yelled. Then he snatched the flash flashlight and shone it in both thieves' faces. "What on earth?" Stanley said. "Arthur and Billy, why are you stealing pumpkins?" 
It's a surprise for Uncle Bob, Arthur said. Some surprise, said Stanley. No, really, said Billy. The fair's tomorrow. Dad's too shy to take his pumpkins, but I know he could win a prize. Arthur's helping me find good ones, and we're going to show them at the fair. Stanley couldn't help smiling. That really is a good surprise. How can I help? Well, there's one thing you can do, said Arthur. Uncle Bob found, st found Stanley the next day. Did the thieves show up last night? Oh, yes, said Stanley. Come see. What on earth, Uncle Bob said. The boys quickly explained the plan. Arthur and I will handle everything. You can just watch, said Billy. What do you say, Dad? Well, gosh, said Uncle Bob. It looks like my pumpkins are going to the fair. That afternoon, they all celebrated Uncle Bob's first ever blue ribbon. Uncle Bob couldn't stop grinning. This is so exciting. Thank you, boys. I know just the thing to do with the prize-winning pumpkin, said Aunt Sue. Make a prize-winning pie. Stanley, you must eat another slice. The end. We hope you enjoyed today's read aloud of Flat Stanley and the Missing Pumpkins. Until next time, see you real soon. Bye.